Um, our next question is from Clem, who's not only a form regular, but also a patron. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, do you have any advice for removing personal information on people searching websites? And you might know more about that um, than I would, because you've you've tested out like delete me and stuff like that, right? Yeah, I still use them. Pretty much the the go to is to pay someone else to do it because there's there's so much um, going on with these data brokers. Yeah, well, it's interesting because Clem says things I want to do as if they're going to do both of them, which is sign up Mm for delete me and go through the manual process. And I would just say, if you're going to sign up for a service and pay a service to do it, you shouldn't be dealing with it manually for two reasons. A, you're literally paying someone to do it for you. So use your time instead to work on prevention, right? Because Avine will delete the data for you, but they're not guaranteeing it's not going to pop right back up if there's still a data leak somewhere in your personal privacy and security journey. So I would say sign up for a service, work on prevention measures to make sure it doesn't end up back on those sites. That's where you should use your time. The second reason why you shouldn't do the manual process if you're paying for it is, again, you're paying for it and services like Delete Me, uh, they should be responsive to you to letting them know that they missed something. So if Delete Me doesn't get something, you should reach out to Delete Me and be like, hey, there's this one site that doesn't have my information. Can you still take care of this? And that should be a thing for any deletion service. And if you're wondering where I'm getting that from, it's from the interview I did with Rob Shavel, who's the CEO of Abine Delete Me. Um, you can watch that interview. We interviewed him. And in the interview, he specifically said, like, reach out, you know, if there's a site we missed, if there's something you need help with, like, reach out to us because they have real people working back there. So I'm quoting him. Hey there, thanks for watching this TechLore clip. I just wanted to say, if you enjoyed this content, we have many other clips on this channel that you can get subscribed to. Otherwise, you can check out our full channel at TechLore where we talk about digital rights, privacy, security, open source, Linux, and many other exciting topics to keep you safer online. We'll see you over there, and we hope you enjoyed this clip.